everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i did this really simple ombre with these reflective holographic glitter fr frames flames um really simple i'm just showing you design don't be mad and i'm showing you so i mean i'll probably put in the title but these are airbrushed nails and i'll give you the information to where i got the airbrush it's really affordable and i wanted to show you guys these gels i didn't use these but these are part of the same collection the twinkle gels from daily charm it's their reflective holographic little glitter line this one's ariel 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 this one is hocus pocus i believe and this is in regular light with the flash and this is with no light with the flash and then of course hocus pocus and from daily charm as you can see you can use code tab of the 10 this is a beautiful color more like rose goldish type color a little darker a little more on the brown side to be honest maybe a little bit more coppery i don't know it's called enchantment and it's beautiful and i love it and i used it for this set right here it's the reflective gel that's involved in this set. If you've seen it on my Instagram, there you go. That's what I use. And I'll show you some more later in the video, so stay tuned. So I'm using this airbrush color. I believe I got that from Amazon as well. And like I said, just the design. I did a fill. We filed, shaped everything. I'm using some Young Nails Protein Bond. And I'm using this just to ensure adhesion because this is acrylic paint i believe um and i want to make sure it's not a gel product it's not made for nails um, but i want to make sure i have good adhesion so protein bond is great to have around just to make sure things will adhere to each other so great to have and i am putting this in my little airbrush machine and I tried it out on paper towel first. Now, I'm not digging and diving deep to how to operate an airbrush. In this situation, I will tell you that I hadn't used mine in a long time. I used it once before. I used to sell press-ons, and I used it for that. That's what I got it for. It made ombres very easily. I used it on my mother one time a long time ago. And that's the only live person I've used it on. And I don't really intend, I never intended to use it on my clientele. This client wanted a black ombre. Um, I told her she was dancing with the devil with that desire because black ombres are hard to do in almost every medium. Um, but airbrushing is the best way. Now, I a little background story. I wanted to use this airbrush to do blood splatter for my Chucky nails some videos back, but it was spraying too smooth to do splatter. So I tried this out on my client today because i'm like oh last time i used it it was working smooth had a little issues cleaning it airbrush maintenance like i said it's a whole separate little situation i'm not a professional i just do didn't do my best but yeah that's the situation and this worked pretty good for nine nails on the 10th nail her thumb on her left hand it would not function anymore it became a whole thing it started it spattered on some nails like became more like noticeable drops instead of a smooth fade but i showed my client she was okay with it because i'm like you know it's not what this is for but i want to give her a black ombre will i do this again probably not <laughs> Um, but it was the best way I knew how to do it. And as you can see, I'm using it. I'm just kind of deepening the color on the tip, fading it up. And then I'm top coating with a matte gel top coat. I'll be using the Magic Gel one lately, and I've really liked it. I have no codes for them or anything like that. Purchase it on my own time. Now, I let this air dry. And I want to tell you that because chemicals and everything like that, this kind of not kind of it moved my pretty little ombre I did and you'll notice it my remedy for this because I did not cure I was leaving these wet moving on to the next nail the previous three nails are wet and 
I was going to do these four and go ahead and cure. Well, when I got to this one, I realized like, yeah, my ombre isn't looking as smooth as I remember. It's because you see, boom, it was moving the paint. So I went ahead and cured them. Like I said, I my airbrush gave me difficulty on my last nail. I barely got the last tenth nail out. So I'm like, I can't respray this. So I decided to do them one at a time and cure it. And so that remedied the whole situation for me. So I'm polishing it, putting it in the light, letting it at least flash cure about 15, 20 seconds. And then I'm polishing the next one, putting it in the light, and that helped the issue. And so I just wanted to show you a few more of these gels. And this is the one I'm using today. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. If you could just get one out of this set of this collection. I don't have the full collection. I just have six of the colors and I believe there's 10, uh, maybe 10 or 12. This one is Dorothy. So beautiful. This one is, oh, this one is closer to like black. It's darker than that Hocus Pocus one from the first little collection set that I showed you. They're not a set on the website, but you know, the first clips I showed you. This one's Abracadabra. And like I said, it's very, very, very dark gray, kind of closer to black. And this one is a cute kind of mid-tone, dusty pink. And these reflective gels, they're not going to look like this unless they're in, in a camera with a flash. But because they are reflective, they the way they pick up light is different. And it's really worth it to try them because they look spark more sparkly, sparklier. I don't feel like that's the way to say that than traditional glitters because they do pick up light differently. And I was trying to show some people before, and I'm like, most glitter, if you hold it in dimmer lighting, is not really its best, depending on what the situation. If it's dimmer lighting with a flash, yes. But just certain dim lighting. But if you hold these in like dimmer lighting, they still sparkle. So even though they're not going to look reflective, that hyper like weird looking effect that you see them get um I still think they're very much worth it to the naked eye just because they look like a better glitter if you don't have the effect the effect is just a cool little bonus Jonas but I I still think it's worth it without it so these are very in this red one goodness and in retrospect I kind of Thought, and I'm showing you guys, I'm just drawing these flames. You've seen me draw flames so many times on this channel. Um, I, and this is me showing you with the lights dimmed and with it, you know, at its ultra reflectiveness. I, to finish my sentence, in retrospect, thought about, I should have, I should have used a, like, pigmented red, um, like, Madam Glam's perfect red to put down first and then traced over this because I did end up going over a lot of it twice, um, which I always hate to do if I don't have to. But if I had to, uh, if I had to either way, regardless, I should have probably used a solid, bold color underneath just to kind of bring it out a little more. My client was not mad at it. I told her I showed her everything. She was fine with it. But I mean... It's too good because it makes it kind of more subtle in a way doing it this way. So, you know, it's something she had in her mind. So if it appeased what the vision that she had for her nails, then, that, you know, absolutely. So I drew my flames. I'm using the swirly brush from my Elegance, the Selena Rydin collection. Then I'm using the Attackless Hyper Shine because I want the flames, of course, to be shiny and be holographic and sparkly and extra. So we want those shiny. I did like the contrast of the black matte ombre against that glittery, hyper sparkly, holographic, shiny red color. I think it emphasized what was going on even more. And it kind of made up for the fact that we didn't have like a opaque red underneath. I, well, at least I think so. And so after the red, the Dorothy gel polish has cured, I'm using that top coat just to draw. It's a bit tedious. It is. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, you got to do it. 
And so I'm just drawing right back over those red flames and carrying that in the light. And then I do, I realized I did like one or two and I realized that I lost a little bit of my shape because I did have to do matte gel polish and then two layers of this red gel. So I kind of used the um, finer grit on my Light Elegance nail file and I regained my shape back a little bit, trying to be careful not to file off my product completely, but just to clean up any bits that need to be cleaned up. Then I dusted that off and continued with my shiny top coat. And this will be the final look, you guys. And I'll put a link down below to the um, airbrush that I used. I think it was like $60, $70 on Amazon. Came with everything I needed. Definitely do more research. Again, it's not a video to go to dive deep into airbrushing, airbrushing for nails. I'm sorry. I don't use it often. And you can see even on this nail, you can see those speckles. And, you know, I know my airbrush wasn't like, it needs to be like shiny, clean, have every little piece of gook out of it for it to be like a very seamless spray. We wasn't there. It was a last minute thing my client thought of. Like I said, excuse, excuse. I just want you to know like this one is a much more smoother one. And that's what I was looking for. But, you know, so I, I just say that. Not as much as an excuse, just to let you know what can happen if you if you want to get an airbrush in. And there's different ones. There's like cordless ones. The one I'm using is a very kind of old school plug-in with a motor one. Like Opre and Young Nails have like the, I think they're rechargeable, like cordless ones, which I'm actually kind of interested in getting. And then they do, again, Opre makes um, like spray gel polishes, which is also very cool and you know i don't know i'd like to probably get into it more who knows maybe i will because they make ombre so super 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 simple i can't emphasize it enough but yeah i got the little 60 70 50 60 70 dollar one and it definitely helped me especially when i was you know some years ago when i was making press-ons and i was keeping it in tip-top shape and maintain really helpful but this is the final look you guys i went ahead because it was acrylic um paint it cleaned off her skin really easily i didn't show the clips of that but i just used alcohol acetone to wipe her skin off after everything was cured and i put on some cuticle oil because of course that dried out her skin and yeah you guys so put a little flame emoji down below that's our deal i give you you know good reasonable decent content and you just hit me with an emoji you know you know thumbs up too and that's what we'll do for each other you know thank you also and look how beautiful and definitely check those daily charm colors out and yeah don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching i appreciate you Bye.